Uh, hey, how are you? I hope you all are doing well at your respective homes. So today in this lecture, I'm going to show you the uh, the overview of data downloading and processing as I have already created videos on data sources. Uh, but today I'm going to give you an overview that what kind of data we would require for SWOT. So for input, we would require land use, dam data, uh, shape file of your country for extracting your study area, the soil map of your study area and most importantly the weather data that you would require for um, simulating on SWOT model. So as I have already discussed and I have already uploaded the video regarding the data sources so you have to sign in in Earth Explorer and uh, in Earth Data for downloading the land use and dam data and I have already given the links okay because I want to start the uh, SWOT model uh, SWOT modeling in the upcoming sessions so uh, you all are required to prepare your data like you have to prepare land use dam data shape file uh, not actually shape file actually you will require land use dam if also in weather data Okay, so so data requirement for SWOT model is dam data, land use data, soil data, meteorological data that is most important thing, daily rainfall and daily temperature, but temperature must be maximum and minimum. Uh, you are not supposed to uh, get the average data of temperature you have to now load or you have to acquire the data from the desired department or in your country okay so basically I'm giving you an overview so I would just show you my study area so this was my study area and it exists in Pakistan Gilgit region and I have been working on industry River for evaluating the hydrological impacts over there so you can see the watershed of my study area that I have created on SWOT model. Okay, the the dam data of my study area. I have uh, downloaded dam data from Earth data. As I said in the previous video, that you can download SRTM data from Earth Explorer and astral data from earth data so you can see it is the 30 meter resolution data which would give you uh, like good results the land use data of my study area I have downloaded this data from NASA MODIS uh, earth explorer site and the source is NASA MODIS the soil data from FAO and I have uh, seven classes in my study area so basically I'm giving an overview of my data so you will realize that what kind of data we would require and what kind of data we have to prepare hydroclimatic data sets as I said that you have to um, download precipitation and temperature data from uh, global weather data or other sources that I have already uh, discussed. Um, if you have the observed data of your uh, from your department, like in Pakistan, we have Pakistan Meteorological Department. If you are able to take the data from them, then you would be able to run the model by observed data if not you can use the model data as well you can download the data from global weather and you can use it for practice purpose but for research purpose you have to um, get the observed data so this is the basically the flow chart Uh, the flow chart you know we would have uh, different steps there like the input in input we have to 
prepare them land use or meteorological data and in like water schedule nation which are used definition would be a GIS process. Okay, so we have the SWOT model simulation writing SWOT input data. Actually, I'm giving you an overview that what kind of uh, process we would have in the SWOT model. So we have these steps to accumulate or to evaluate your study area and you would have the uh, hydrological impacts of your study area at the end. So basically you have to prepare your data before you start with uh, SWOT model. You have to uh, make analysis on uh, SWOT model after that you have to calibrate your model and then you would be able to validate it for the future or for the past impact if you know uh, how to calibrate or how to validate model then you would be able to um, run the model easily if you don't know I would uh, I would try to teach you that how could you uh, prepare your data for calibration and how could you be able to validate the model so this was basically an overview of my data so uh, because most of people uh, wants me to show what kind of data we would require for SWOT modeling and what kind of data we must prepare before we start with SWOT modeling so let me show you what would uh, you have in the uh, SWOT modeling after you simulate the model If I open the file that the SWOT would uh, give you at the end, look, you would be having multiple things here. If I click on uh, RCH, you could see I am having the data of each sub basin, the flow in, the flow out, the area of each sub basin. We have the operation, we have the sediment in and sediment out we have different parameters and you could uh, now I have selected the sub basin 9 in which you can see the outcomes of my uh, you know um, model the flow in the flow out the evapotranspiration we have different parameters here you you can see you know you know 3 you know 2 so these are basically the parameter that that you can evaluate in your study area um, like if you want to work on uh, discharge data or if you want to work on water quality so SWOT would give you both so it depends on you that one ki what kind of um, project you want to perform on SWOT model we have different sort of data so you would uh, realize that what kind of um, data we would required for our research purpose so I would say that uh, in the upcoming session I would literally start SWOT modeling so kindly prepare your data before you start with SWOT modeling take care goodbye